this is a review for um, May the 2nd, Tuesday the 2nd of May 2017. I'm putting this video up on YouTube, it's also going into my journal, my video journal, as I document how I'm doing, what I'm doing with uh, time in sales and the footprint and things like that with regards to order flow. So this is what happened today. I'm still, I still traded overnight. I had a two hour paper profit and that came back for 0.2 R, so two ticks. Um, two ticks, is that right? Yeah. And I had a 20 tick profit, but I really need to knock the nighttime trading on its head. So I'm working on that, but it's a bit of an addiction. Well, I wouldn't say an addiction, it's a bit of a, a habit. Um, force of habit like my rhythms have changed so it's going to take some time and effort consistent effort over time to move it back to uh, more regular hours and then of course because I was up so late um, I wasn't at my station in time to get this long here um, in the morning here 10.50 um, was still you know getting ready and showering and getting changed and stuff and that uh, would have worked to the target. Now, this is where I came in later. Uh, the target was hit at 90, and I know that when my targets are hit statistically over time, that's a good sign that we're gonna shift direction, at least in the short term. And it makes sense if you're basing it off of an, your own analysis. So here we had, not on this screen, uh, Marab, Bozo, if that's what you call it in candlestick terminology. But on this hammer here, um, this is where it gets interesting because you have the hammer, which is bullish on its face when you're looking at a hammer. So if anyone's getting short, as these people did, 80 contracts over five transactions hit the bid. And that's most probably two sellers because they occurred at the exact same time and second. 46 lots in two transactions and 34 lots in three transactions. So I'm assuming those are two big sellers and they occurred at two price points, 78 and 79. I can't remember which is which, but two big orders, two big sell orders were sent to market, hit the bid at 78, 878 and 879. And that, although you can't see it here, um, looking at the time in sales, I'll just bring it over so you can see. Um, that was at um, somewhere between 15.40 and 15.45. So if we go back to 15.40 to 45 there, you'll see there, I'll just move it up a bit. 36 at 79, 10 at 79. And that occurred at 15.42 and 31 seconds. So those two together, and then these three at 45 and 39 seconds. So actually that was um, that was after this candle. So the 46 occurred here on this candle and then someone else sold again into those lows uh, just shortly after the candle formed. So that doesn't align with my thesis. Really we're looking at the 46 seller. That's the one that uh, got would have got nervous when he, he or she sold down here at uh, 79 and then and then saw that the candle finished on a nice wick so it's pointing up but when that broke down you know that because the relief of these sellers is going to be a really strong um, support come resistance so now when we worked back up i did take a trade early on looking at this channel and that failed but when we came back up to this candle 16.50 Let's just uh, put that there. 16.50 here, between 16.45 and 16.50. If you look up at 71 or 72, um, 71 or 72, yeah, here, 72, we had 11 contracts at 45.27 at 72, and 12 contracts at 45.30, three seconds later. 23 contracts up here at 72. Now, if if that were me and the candle closed like that, I'd be worried. I'd be nervous. And so that's why I shorted at 68 and got my stop above this, these um, 
big sellers here and that's my the failure point of my trade so 868 and then I had a 39 target in the first instance and I was looking for a breakdown but um, I knew that with such a strong V pivot here as, as marked by these two lines here that I especially on this big red candle down when we got um, 10 contracts contracts executed on the offer at 42 I'm expecting that to follow through and not come back up through 42 that buy order if it truly indeed was a breakdown we broke down through triggered that big red bar broke through this V pivot and then came right back so my stop then moved trail to 843 which was um, a 25 tick gain for a potential 12 tick loss so whatever that is just over two times my risk normally I'd risk 10 but it didn't make any sense to put the stop under the sellers I wanted to go behind the sellers these big sellers here and that was that was the trade so you can see um, the 10 contracts executed on the offer as I said was at 42 and you can go back and have a look at that that would be 17 20 to 25 but there that one there and that was the thesis to trail my stock and as you can see that worked out pretty well today so that leaves me up a bit today 73.96 on three trades i'm going to stop there because it's children time play with the kids and tomorrow i'm not sure if i'll be trading at all if i do it will be brief it'll be at the open shortly after the open for an hour an hour and a half tops because tomorrow is a very special birthday um, so i want to devote my time to that and preparing for that so that's it for now like this if you got anything out of my little foray into the world of footprints and uh, order flow and dome trading and all that stuff and as always remember to follow your rules and stick to your plan see you next time